Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to do a uh, Jenga block angel. The head's not going to be made out of Jenga blocks, but we'll get that to that later. Uh, I use Wellbond if you're new to my channel. Um, I prefer it. You can buy it at Ro Rona, Lowe's, um, Amazon. Uh, a fellow crafter said you can buy it at Hobby Lobby. I just prefer it better. I don't suggest hot glue at all. And the Dollar Tree Jenga blocks, you can find them in the toy section where all the kids toys are we're going to start off with the top part of the body i suggest using the l-shaped carpenter ruler when doing them we're going to start off with the top row and when you're gluing them i always like to use um, the ruler only because it gets them uh, more straight and even and these ones are going to be horizontal so we're going to start at the top i've just glued per section, per section, um, per line, I guess you want to say. So the top row is four. The next line is six, and we're going to have it centered all the way down. Sorry, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, and then we're going to go down again, seven, six, five, and four. And you're just gonna make sure that they're even on both sides, just putting down the center. So that will be the top part, and that's a total of 60 blocks. And the bottom part of the body, I'm just gonna move this away. I don't know if I had that there. It's gonna be vertical, so you're gonna do them up and down so the first one is eight it's going to be centered again nine ten eleven twelve this one kind of thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen and eighteen now what you're going to want to do is you're going to glue them all together. All right, now that I left it overnight to glue, uh, to finish gluing, um, I'm going to use, I'm going to use some files. Now, if you've watched my Jangle Block videos before, I do have a Dremel hand drill. I don't have it right here, but I just have these. Um, there's also a big square one just to file off the corners. Um, just so they're not so pointy and just going all the way around the front and the back side don't do the bottom the bottom part here um, you can do the top but just don't do the bottom so that it stays solid that if, if it's rounded it could be a little bit wobbly then I'm gonna do like I did the, if you've seen my Jenga block coffins that I made, I did the paper mache, but I did it with paper towel. So when this was gluing last night when I was watching TV, I just pulled off a bunch of paper towel and just ripped them in sections. I did use on the Jenga block when I started off using um, Mod Podge, but I just found with the little bottles, you were going through a lot more. So it'd be cost more to use the Mod Podge. I just bought this white glue and you just got to make sure that it dries clear and this one is and it's non-toxic and strong holding and this one is just from the dollar store I'm not sure if it's from DT or Dollarama and I'm just going to show you and you're just going to do this so we'll give it some texture now if you don't want to do the the um, the paper mache you can just paint it but just with the blocks like that I just find that it's um I don't know it just be painty more gritty especially with white I find white see seeps through it doesn't matter how many coats you do on Jenga blocks and but it just gives this will just give it a nice texture and I didn't put I just should just pour it on there but you're just going to do that and you're just going to overlap it all 
And you're gonna do, don't do the bottom, you can do along the edge here, but I wouldn't do underneath. And the top, I would just make sure it's flat and not overlap, like over here, I will just, I'm just gonna put a pour right on, why not? Um, I would overlap these other pieces. And then you just keep doing that. And the sides are probably be a little bit funky, but that's okay. It's just gonna take a little bit of time. This is not too big to do. Um, I should just pour this out in a bowl. This is making it harder. Then you're gonna let, I'm gonna let it dry. I'm gonna do this now and I'm gonna let it dry all day. And then I will see if it has any spots. And that was the last time that I did it on the, the coffins that I did. And I just found that there was more bald spots than anything, but you just wanna get the nice texture of it. And I just find with the paper towel, especially the paper towel that I'm using has kind of like a woven texture then it's just plain flat paper. Like even with the paper I find it's just plain. This just gives it a nice texture to it. Once I do that, we'll, I'll come back and we'll move on to the next step. All right, now that I've let it dry overnight, I did all around the front and the back. It gives a nice texture to the Jenga blocks. I'm just gonna give it a coat of white DT paint. I don't know if I'm laid one or two, and that's what I'm gonna do now. All right, so I um, I gave it three coats of the with the DT white paint. Um, more flat, but I wanted to do a shiny look to it. So I just painted over a coat of Mod Podge. It's a little bit sticky now, it's still drying. Um, what we're gonna do for the wings on the back of it is, I just used some foam board and I just freehand, uh, I'm not, uh, I'm not a drawer by any means. I just kinda play around and I end up getting one wing so it depends on what kind of wings you want i wanted to kind of do a style like that you can do more of a fairy uh really depends on the kind of style of wings you want so once you get one piece cut out now i used don't use scissors i found that using the little um exacto knife like this from dt it's in the crafting section works really well for cutting them out just make sure you're Wherever you do cut them out though, I have about four, la three layers, four, I have six layers on my table here. So just so you don't wanna cut any of the wood. So just be mindful of that. So once you cut one out, just trace it onto another piece, do the exact same thing. So I cut two out. Now you can see these lines here. So I figured when I was lining it up, I'm not gonna stick my head right because if I'm looking right over, if it's not exactly centered, it's because I can't see on the top there. So you wanna figure out where you wanna position it. I just took a pencil and just kinda did like a fast line on there on both sides. So I know to put the feathers on the opposite side as opposed to once you have this line that this part will be glued right onto the back, not onto the feathers, because it won't hold as well. Oh, that's a little bit sticky, sorry guys. So, once we have that, now there's different things you could do. You could use, um, you know, the soft cloth for car washing. You could use that material, just, you know, the microfiber one. Um, you can use diamonds, I guess, if you want to do that. You could use some Mod Podge and glitter. Um, it really depends, you know, what kind of thing you want to do. I'm just going to stick with the feathers now. I was able to get boas, have been back stocked finally back in the Dollar Tree. So I'm happy about that. I know I had a hard time getting them months ago. And I think you're only going to need one by the looks of it. So the... Um, I'm not gonna glue like I did similar with the angel wings, uh, one that I did a couple months ago, two months ago. I'm not just gonna how I glued it on there. I would just have to, I would end up cutting this off, but I don't really need to cut it off because I'm not gonna glue that rope on. I would just go along and pluck out the feathers. And just keep plucking them. You don't have to do the whole boa in case you want to use it for a different craft down the line. So I do a bunch and um, 
just collecting a bunch. I've, I've got some, I found some other feathers that I used, but I think I'm gonna just use these ones from the boa. Now, oh no, shoot, I, I think it was this one. I had one here I wanted to show you, it was kind of bent already. So the first thing that you're gonna want to do, let me use this one. I'm just gonna cut that little tip off there. And where this little piece part that's sticking out, I'm gonna cut that there. I'm just gonna glue it along the edge. And I'm gonna glue even the edge coming where it's gonna be behind the block. I'm still gonna glue it just there for the, and I just glue it right along the center of the edging all the way around just so it gives it a nice look. This one's not as pretty, so try to find the more pretty ones to have a nice even look once you get that glued on. Then I'm just gonna glue them. And I'm just gonna use hot glue, guys. I'm just gonna glue them like this. Once I get that glued down, I'm gonna, you can use um, a ruler to keep the fluffy part out of the way, which I suggest to do so you don't get hot glue all over your feathers. I'm gonna keep clipping these little, and I think I did that. I think I, I'm trying to remember which one. I think I did it on Ozzy, the Jenga block rooster. I was cutting those, pulling those big ends off and cutting those ends when I gave my hair cut. And then you're just gonna keep going along all the way down. On the back, you can also use, I wouldn't suggest, well, the front you can do, you're just gonna have to cut, you, DT also has, but then you're gonna have to buy a lot of packs of them. Have do have those white long feathers that I used in uh, Ozzy's uh, tail for the rooster. You'd have to buy a few packs because only 12, and I would cut them down and it's just straight cut. I just like the fullness of the boa. So I'm gonna get these ones done and glued on, and then we're gonna move on to the head. All right, so I finished the, um, the wings. So I did on the front part, that's gonna show the front part of the angel. I did it with taking those strands out on the back. I just opted out and just glue tightly the um, feather boa and I kind of went over in some layers. Just, it's gonna be the back. Now, instead of it just, I wanted to add a little bit of bling to it. So DT has this roll of um, like glitter ribbon, I guess, whatever you want to call. I cut it down to just two strands just so it fits right there. Perfect right in between that top block. I'm just going to hot glue it all the way around. Then I'm going to attach the wings. As you see, I left that spot there and it just fits in perfectly to the back. So I'm going to glue those ones on and then we're going to move to the head. So now that I put on the wings and the little belt, we're going to move on to the head. Oh. Um, now there was a couple different options that I had and I just found these little glass or I guess a little vase from DT. They came in this color blue, like an aqua blue. And I can't remember if there was another color. I just remember seeing these two. Now, it fits well right on top. Now you can paint it um, or maybe you have a different idea. I thought about the snow globes, but I found the snow globes way too big for the size of the body. But, and this is where you don't, you don't have to put the light, but I thought it would be nice if the actual head would light up like that. Um, I got a pack of 10. These are from, and I just like, because of the battery pack is super thin and just much easier to use than actual, the bigger battery packs from DT. Now, I bought these on Amazon. I live in Canada, so I bought it off the Amazon Canadian site. And I think for the 10 of them, it was like 20 bucks, including delivery. You might probably, if you're if you're on the other side, um, you probably can get a lot cheaper just because we pay a little bit more for stuff here. So that's what I'm gonna do. And on the back, 
You see it's a lot more fluffier because on the back I just used the, I didn't pull the feathers out, I just glued them all on. You can just drape, let me put it in this way. You can just put the wire right in between, just fit it in right, right between the feathers. And when you do it, this is a side you're gonna have to, hold on one sec. I don't have my, there we go. So you're gonna wanna put it where, I just had to make sure which side it opened, where the screws are, because then you can just lift it up when you need to change the batteries. If you put it this way, you're going to have to peel it off and try to get it on. And you're just going to drape it over. And it's just going to go... I just don't want to squish my feathers on the bottom. That's why I keep putting on something. But I just think it would go really nice like that on there. Now for a halo... I thought of a different couple options. Uh, I didn't want the stick in the back or a wire. So on here, let me see if I can, well, I guess it makes no difference. But on the top part, you can set it flat like this if you want to maybe think this is the halo on it, which is cool too. And you could just drop the, the light inside. Um... I'm gonna just do a little bit different. So it does still sit on here, which I will glue it down once I get the wire and just stick the, the part and then the battery pack down. But I wanted to do some feathers around the top. So you can do it right along if you want. I found, um, it's just a, a sealer top from a canning jar. Now it does sit proper this way but i don't want to cover too much of the face i'm going to do it this way instead i am going to spray paint it even i usually with metal i like spray painting as opposed to using the dt paint or dollarama paint so i'm going to spray paint it on the inside and the out i have this from part of the feathers were that i showed you were from wish uh, from when i was doing the angel wings once it's white I am just gonna wrap hot glue it all the way around once the paint's dried I know it's hard to see let's see and just wrap it around I don't know if this will even work so I can show you so it just blends in with the feathers and then I'll of course it won't to sit. So, let's see if I can do it this way. <laughs> so it sits this way on it. Now I know it looks probably odd, but it will work. I'm going to get this painted, put this on, put the battery pack on, and show you. I am going to put it on a tray. Um, I'll show you the tray after. Uh, you don't have to, but I just want to put some tray and some bling in the bottom of the tray. Maybe another light up thing. I haven't decided yet, but let me get this done and we'll come back. So I finished wrapping the bit around it. Um, I went around it twice. Now I just wanted to show you with it being upside down, this being the top of the head. I am just going to not put it centered. I am just going to tilt it just a little bit up just so it shows more like the face that it's not covering majority of the face. I am just going to hot glue it on. You can see here that I just used, I'm not going to move. I'm going to show you, I'm going to turn the camera around in a sec, but I just used one of the silver plates from DT and put a bunch of little diamonds in it with another tea light on the bottom. I have the tea light up here already on that I'm just gonna glue this on. Let me turn the camera around and show you. All right, so I put it all together. I think she turned out beautiful. I actually put the white foam board so you wouldn't see my all my crafting stuff behind the boards. And I put the silver plate because she was meshing in with the, the white foam boards. Uh, just with the tray with, I didn't turn on the tray lights. 
um, and I just have the lighting a little bit low that you could see that the heads lit up. I think it turned out really cute. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Thank you for all of you guys that support me on this channel. Happy crafting and see you soon. Bye.